Hey guys, Tuesday, April 9th, Bitcoin 69,000 down. Um, and today we're going to be talking about the halving. I want to just show, show some more analysis that I did on the halving. And, um, and we'll see. We'll go from there. Uh, so what do I have? Um, well, let's first of all look at this Google Sheets, this um, this Twitter feed that I did. So this is the first halving, uh, and you can see it here. It was in November 28th, 2022. Um, not a lot of people really were around and participated in Bitcoin at that point. Um, there was only 14,000 wallets out in the world that had over $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. Um, the the pre-having market cap was about 126 million, which is you know more than I would have thought at the time because it was only like five million a year earlier. So it really had ramped up from 2011 to 2012. So we were up to 126 million in market cap. Bitcoin was at 12 bucks, and um, and basically we had this. The happening did nothing for a month. Then it ramped up, it 3 x in the next two months, and then there was a blow off top, right? So uh, we had that. Now, one thing I will point out is the stock, almost half the Bitcoin is already mined by then, right? So we were up to 10 million Bitcoin mined. Um, and the mining rate was 7,000 Bitcoin a day. Um, so... In terms of daily kind of new supply on the market, the daily flow to stock, we always talk about stock to flow, but let's just consider the opposite for a second. The flow to stock was about seven basis points, so uh, seven one hundredth of a percent every single day of new supply. So I would argue that the amount of new supply being taken off the market in this first happening was pretty substantial, right? So we have you know almost a tenth of a percent of new supply being taken off the market. Okay, so that was the first one. Now, let's go to the second one. The second one happened in July of 2016. And, um, you know, we've gone from, you know, a small amount of people to almost half a million people who participated in this with, you know, with over a $1,000 balance uh, worth of Bitcoin. The uh, market cap now had risen all the way to $10 billion. Um, and we have now gone from 10 million stock to 15 million stock or almost 16 million stock. And we are now, instead of seven basis points, we're now mining about two basis points, uh, relative to the, to the stock. So we've come down quite a bit in terms of, you know, pre mining, how, pre having how, how big this is. We went from two to one and it didn't do anything for six months. So there was very, very little effect of this. And then, you know, we had this big move in 2017, obviously, later, right? But uh, I would say the real, you really can't say that this is happening related because, uh, you know, if something does nothing for six months and then three months later it does a 3x and then another three months later it does, you know, another uh, 6x, the, you, a does not imply B. And in fact, here, the entire uh, narrative was already, was ETH and these ICOs, okay? It wasn't so much Bitcoin in 2017. Uh, so I really don't think that this, you can really point this this whole move up to the happening. So that's my, that's that. So now let's go to the last happening, um, the 2020 happening. And... Uh, Again, we see kind of a, a very, after the happening, kind of a pretty low you know, period. We, we sort of double from 10,000 to 18,000. Most of it sort of in the October, November thing. Then we have this big bump up, right, from 20,000 to 60,000, and then that's it. So, you know, it's a very different pattern than uh, the first happening, for sure. Uh, and even the second one, because we don't have this double blow off top, we don't, it's, it's just different. Um, and again, I have a hard time equating this, this amazing rise up 
with the fact that there's supply because that's just really not the narrative that, that was going on. Um, the other thing now I would like to point out is uh, I'm just going to show this analysis here that I did um, of my having analysis. So if you look at kind of where this next one sits, right, we are at six and an eighth right now. I'm oh, sorry, six and a quarter reward. Um, but we're only right now at half a basis point pre having of flows talk. So, you know, going from a half a basis point to a quarter basis point does not strike me like this is going to make a, a, much of a difference at all in terms of supply shock. Um, so, yeah, I just don't. I, 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 people keep on talking about it. They're having these happening parties. I want to believe in it, but you know, realistically, I don't think it's that important. And especially now with these ETFs <laughs> taking you know, five to 10 times this kind of uh, reward every day. I don't think that this happening is really worth spending too much time on. Okay, that's episode 76. Um, I, please subscribe to my YouTube because I need, I need the traffic, guys. I'm, a, I'm kind of a traffic junkie. So please subscribe to my YouTube, uh, and uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks.